Parents, are your parents still living my in Pittsburgh? My parents are in Pittsburgh. My mother, in fact, my father is with me now. My mother is in Pittsburgh, if, but my father's here. He came to be with me for the he's weekend. He's here in the studio? Yeah, Dad? Can we bring him Dad? Up? Dad, would you come out? Our, our, our next guest who just came in and surprised you. Uh, I want to say you meet uh, very few people in mm -hmm. our business. I mean, I know over the camera it looks like everybody's getting along beautifully, but sometimes the chemistry is just right. He did my show once, yeah. and then I had dinner at your house. Yeah, we had dinner, and, and we asked wife, him, would he fly wife. in? And Flew in just for the one he show. He had to be back to tape uh, I know. Mannix. And he just came here, and he, he's going to do something really special for us. Good. Here is uh, Mike, Mike Connors. Connors singing very beautiful song. Thank you for the wonders of your warm and tender kiss. My childhood dreams of fantasy could never equal this. I thank you for the sunshine created by your smile. But most of all, I thank you for your love. I thank you for your hand in mine when you said I do. I thank you for the warmth I feel when I think of you. I thank you for the loving kiss when you say good night. But most of all, I thank you for your love. Now when it's time to say good night, Another day is through I count my blessings one by one They all add up I thank you for this little boy So much a part of me I thank you for the joy I find When he's upon my knee And I thank you for the pride I feel When you walk with me but most of all, I thank you. Yes, most of all, I thank you. Most of all, I thank you for your love. I'll tell you now, if that doesn't put you off the air and me out of business, you know what the, the beauty of it? It's about a husband thanking his wife for presenting him with a a, a boy, a child. Well, as as you know, Marty and Mike, uh, I'm not a singer, as I just proved. However, <laughs> uh, but you're a good actor. I, I proved yeah. that before you out there. <laughs> Thank you. Where it should it's harder doing that one song than the whole Mannix. That man. is rougher than doing 26 Mannix. <laughs> it really is. I have a great deal of feeling for anybody that sings, but the when beautiful I, heard, words. I heard the lyrics, uh, I was really taken by it because I think every man can identify, uh, especially if you, you've had your first child, it happens to be a son. And all of the things you feel about your son and your wife um, pours out and you don't know how quite to say it. And this kind of says it. And I think... Uh, that's great. You, so, you, it tears you up, that yeah, song. Yeah, it does. It does. I can see it by your eyes. <laughs> yeah. you, you know, I, I, I wasn't going to ask you this, but we did have dinner with you and your wife, and Marty and his wife, and my wife and I were there in California. And you married kind of your childhood sweetheart, a girl you went to school with, didn't you? Yeah, yeah. Uh, we've been married a long time, and uh, we were in school together, college, UCLA. Uh -huh. And uh, it's been good. She's I'm like Marty. I she's heard what you were saying about Frenchie. She's a, a lovely gal. Yeah. She really is. Oh, yes. Thank you. Hey, Greg Morris was here not long ago from Mission Impossible, <laughs> and he said he knew you were coming. You know he said, just tell him, I said, hey, watch out. Now, what does he mean by that? <laughs> what does he mean? Well, you know, uh, Mission Impossible and Mannix, uh, we share the same stages. There are four stages we rotate. 
And so uh, you get kind of bored with sh and you start playing practical jokes. So just the last day of shooting, uh, Greg's portable dressing room happened to be on the set that we were shooting on. And we were doing a sequence where we used smoke, a lot of smoke in a uh, bomb scene. <laughs> So we filled his dressing room with smoke so that you could not see inside once you got into it. And he came and he was talking and he opened the door and we pushed him in and closed the door and there he was locked and we put a great big truck in front of his oh, door. That's and he was locked in. He, he was hysterical. And uh, <laughs> so he says, I'll get you. I guess he's got something in mind. He just said, when Connors comes on the show, tell him to just keep looking over his shoulder. <laughs> There's, wow. there's no telling what might happen. <laughs> I, want to, I want to talk about your, your musical background. Where did you get your... <laughs> My background, musical background. Where, where did you get your musical training? Well, what, what little I had. Um, my father uh, was responsible for it, oddly enough. I'd like to say that I got my training in a house of... Well, you told me to say that, Marty. And I never were, told you. And then you were. I don't even know what it means. <laughs> and then you were supposed to say something about me. You were going to tell the people of Philadelphia, but you're you not. You mean you that. guys were working out routines on <laughs> yeah, the plane? Yeah, that's right. That that was, back, um, back to your musical training. Yeah, let's training. go back right. to the. Right. I seen the. Well, anyway, uh, my father was an attorney in Fresno, which is, <laughs> which is a. Uh, I'm going to keep an eye out for you. <laughs> Somehow uh, or other, it's not going to have the punch I thought it would have. <laughs> Uh, now, uh, my father was an attorney, and uh, he settled in a great Armenian community, and I'm Armenian. He was from Armenia, and he studied law, and I'll try and make this as short as possible. You studied law, too. Yes, I studied law, too. And uh, he used to do a lot of cases for the uh, non-English-speaking uh, people in uh, Fresno that were farmers and so forth, mm -hmm. and none of them had any money, but his whole life was dedicated to helping his people that were here, migrated here from Armenia. And uh, Sunday mornings, when we'd get up, we'd find a watermelon on the porch or a box of uh, peaches or a box of grapes. And this is how they would pay him. his in produce. Huh? Right, in produce. So we ate a lot of fruit at home. Never had any meat, but we ate a lot of fruit. <laughs> and one day he did a job uh, for a man that uh, gave music lessons, the flute, actually. And the man says, well, you know, Mr. O'Han, I, I really haven't any money. If any of them would like to study music, I'd be glad to work out what I owe you in music lessons. So my father sent my mother out, and she bought a second-hand flute. You learned to play the flute? And I took flute for a short time, you know. Did I, you play well? No, are you kidding? <laughs> Would you, is, that, <laughs> is that a coincidence? Is that a coincidence? Is that a coincidence? Well, you just happen to have a flute. He had it in his... <laughs> I don't know if I like that, Marty. No, no, no we no. have a basket of fruit in case oh, you I don't see. work out with the flute. <laughs> you know, I haven't heard <laughs> Do you play? Can you play one? Well, find out whether. I don't know. I don't think. Can't play it. It's irreversible. You like it? You lost your lip, Mike. <laughs> Is that an Armenian folk tune? <laughs> There's supposed to be a cobra come out of there. You're right, Mike. Happened. You don't play well. How about... Did they give you lessons with any other thing, like a trumpet? <laughs> I'm still trying, just you to make... Wait, 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 it's a tone. There it is. <laughs> you see, it works. It works. No, I gotta tell you, I never... No, I, I didn't really play this. There it comes. There you go. Well, I tell you, hey, right. let me tell you. No, let me tell no, you. Do, just the thought of you makes me stop. <laughs> well, no, 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 no. You recognize the song, right? Yeah. No, let me How tell about you. That, trumpet? What happened? No, what happened? <laughs> <laughs> well, oddly enough, no, seriously. You played a trumpet? No, wait. Do we have a trumpet? No, yeah. wait. I got Did you take trumpet? <laughs> Is this a coincidence? We had to have a trumpet. Boy, you're taking all of my past. No, you know what happened, though. I didn't, as you can tell, I didn't like the flute because I couldn't play it. <laughs> so I went to a movie on a Sunday, and I saw Fred McMurray in a picture called Swing High, Swing Low, in which he played a trumpet. And I'll never forget the last scene in the picture. He had his arms around a girl, and the... He was playing a trumpet, can you believe that? With his arms around the grass. If you think you're going to embrace me and play this, you're crazy. <laughs> I'm lying, I want to tell you, she must have been awfully thin, whoever it was. So Monday, I traded the flute in for a trumpet, and I tried that for a little while. Mike, let's find out. Let's find out if you can play the trumpet. It. I know it's a Blow the trumpet. I got to know. Yeah, do. What do we play? Anything. Uh, uh, If you 
Do you like dancing, folks? Right there.